Hello and welcome everyone to the Python programming course. In this course, we are going to learn about the basics of Python programming. So what is Python? Well, Python is a high level general purpose and interpreted programming language. It is designed for rapid prototyping of complex application. Now, that's the definition of Python. However, it might come to your mind that why should we even learn Python at the first place? Well, I would say to you that Python is a high-level interpreted and dynamically typed programming language. And because of this, it encourages the development of application prototypes. It makes debugging of errors easy and identifying itself as the language to code with. Now, you might be in a position to appreciate the simplicity and capability of Python as a programming language. It is a general purpose language and have the applicability in almost every domain of software development, be it web development, scientific, business, or any other application you can ever think of. Now Python has wider coverage of application and it is definitely complying with the current needs of the software industry. So I can safely say that it assures a promising future to the learners. You might be knowing that various applications like YouTube, BitTorrent, Dropbox, etc. use Python to achieve their functionality. Now the reason behind the choice of Python for these applications is the ability of Python to be compatible with cross platform operating systems, which simplifies the development of applications. So what is the meaning of cross platform operating system? Well, a cross platform application may run on any operating system, be it Microsoft, Windows, Linux, Mac OS, or any other. So that's the advantage of that. Now there are several use cases of Python. It is widely used in artificial intelligence and machine learning. And I'm sure you'll agree to me that AI and ML are need of the times as they yield the most promising careers for the learners. The field of AI and ML relates to the incorporation of intelligence into machines by the process of self-learning from the data stored in the system. Various algorithms are available for this purpose. And I can definitely say that to bring AI and ML into action, Python is the first choice. Now, why? Why do you think it's the first choice? Well, it's because various well-equipped libraries like Pandas, uh, Scikit, Learn, NumPy, all of these are available to facilitate the engineers and scientists. Now, this makes things really simple. Why? Because you just need to learn the algorithm, use the library, and you have your solution to the problem. It is that simple. Now, the second use case could be data science and data visualization. Data scientist is just another promising career. If you know how to extract relevant information from the data source, then the world is yours. But since it's not easy, various algorithms and techniques are required to work with. To simplify your work again, Python emerges to help you to study the data you have, perform operations, and extract the required information. Libraries such as Pandas and NumPy help you extracting these information. Furthermore, Matplotlib and Seaborn are the data visualization libraries which are quite helpful in plotting and visualization. So you just have to write the program and it's going to automatically create the chart for that, you know, the bar graphs and all of those things. It's super useful. And we'll see that in the upcoming videos. Now next one is mobile applications. In general, people think that Android and iOS are for mobile development. But what about using Python for mobile app 204 development? Well, historically, Python didn't have a strong story when it came to writing mobile GUI applications. And that was quite questionable because Python is projected as one solution for a variety of applications. But with the passage of time, a lot of development in Python has happened, and now we are having Python as one of the options for mobile app development as well. Now we have two frameworks. First one is Kiwi, and second one is Beware. 
and these are the options for mobile application development in Python. Next one up is the embedded applications. So Python is based on C. Thus, it can be used to create software for embedded applications. Embedded applications. The MicroPython is a software implementation of Python 3, which is written in C. In fact, MicroPython is a Python compiler that runs on the hardware of microcontroller. It includes modules to provide access to the low-level hardware. One of the renowned embedded applications is Raspberry Pi. You might have heard of it, which basically uses Python for its computing. It can be used as a computer or like a simple embedded board to perform high-level computation. It will be interesting for you to know that you can use it for IoT or mobile applications, thus may produce your smart gadgets. Now, many of you who are in the field of web development, I would say to you that Python is frequently used for web development. And the reason behind is the availability of the full stack frameworks for web development. Can you think of some of the web development frameworks for Python? I'll give you five seconds. Yes, you guessed it right. I'm pretty sure the first Python framework that must have come to your mind is Django. Yes, exactly. So you have Django, then you have Flask, which is web development one drop at a time. In case if you're just looking for a basic setup wherein you know you just get what you need, then in that case, you can go for Flask. That is why it said that web development one drop at a time. When we are building application with Flask, that is when we look at that in detail. You also have Pyramid, which is quite famous uh, among the frameworks for the web development. So these are the main famous ones. Uh, there are others as well. And if you know the other development frameworks, please put that in the comment and let me know. So they include common backend logic and libraries to integrate protocols like HTTPS, FTP, SSL, etc. And supports processing of JSON, XML, email, etc. Now, a lot of you might be interested in gaming as well. And gaming is one of the most upcoming software industry. User can build various interactive games by using various modules of Python. For instance, Pygame and Piglet. Also, the Python libraries like PySoy are available to develop 3D games as well. Some of the renowned games like Civilization 4, Disney Toontown Online, Vega Strike, etc. are developed using Python. So you can check them out. So besides game development, it's used for neural networks and many other advanced fields of computer science. And I can definitely say that it's it's one of the fastest growing programming languages. It is high in demand for jobs and Python developers definitely make great amount of money. And to put Cherry on top, it has got incredibly supportive community. All right, so with that, we'll wrap up this episode. And in the next episode, we are going to learn further about what are the features that Python offers and a little bit of history. So I hope you did like the video. And if you did, please give a thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel if you aren't already. Please follow me on GitHub. My GitHub handle is Imran H. Sayed. And please follow me on Twitter as well. My Twitter handle is Goditek. So I'm going to see you in the next video. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.